How to be a great host or hostess in a restaurant As a host or hostess, you are the first and last person guests see at a restaurant. Because of this, you must always be on your A-game, keeping the restaurant orderly, making sure guests are happy, and keeping track of what's going on at each table are just some of the ways. You can keep your guests happy. Steps One, keep track of each station. Make a chart of each server's station, and what tables are in it. Also learn the table layout by heart. Review all reservations for your shift, and assign suitable tables for each. Keep note of how many people are in a party, what time they arrived, and what table they are at. Also keep note of who is still there so that servers do not become overwhelmed. 2. Be aware as guests approach the restaurant. If you are busy with another guest, acknowledge the guest by saying, I will be right with you, make eye contact, or a simple hand gesture also works. Three, greet them with a smile and welcome them to the restaurant. Remember, you are the first and last chance for the restaurant to make a good impression, and set them at ease. Four, find out how many people are dining. If there is a wait make sure to get everyone's name in right away so they do not feel ignored. Guests will normally ask for a time frame. Never try to give a specific time. Tell them an estimated time. Look at the wait list and add 5 minutes for each party of the same size. If 6 parties of 2 are on the list. The estimated wait time would be 30 minutes for another party of 2. Guests are generally impatient and will find somewhere else to dine. 5. After greeting the guests, look at the size of the largest member of the party and assign the seating with that in mind. Don't put them in a small booth. Also, a guest that has trouble walking should be given a seat as close to the hostess station as possible. 6. When figuring out where to seat them, rotate the stations. Distribute the tables evenly among the servers, but also keep in mind how many large parties they have or have had. Try not to seat any two parties too close together when it is not necessary. 7. When the guest sits down, Place a menu for each of them by the place setting, or hand the menu to the guest. Don't just throw menus on the table and leave without saying anything. 8. Maintain supplies. If we are running low on any forms, highlighters, etc. Ask the manager for the supplies you will need. This should be done before the lunch or dinner rush. 9. Make sure that there are complete place settings for each guest and that the table is clean. If not, get the napkins, silverware, or give the table a quick wipe down with a damp rag. If it is beyond that, Seat them somewhere else and make sure the mess is dealt with. 10. Be prepared to get some things for guests, water refills, utensils, napkins, or carry-out boxes. If a guest does ask for something else, 
inform the guest that you will let their server know. Eleven. Walk the floor. The only way to know the progression of tables is to see how many tables are on dessert, if they have paid their check, etc. If you need tables, let the servers know and see if they can expedite their meal. You are on the same team. Twelve. Help to clear and set tables when necessary. If there are customers waiting for tables, the more hands helping to make that happen, the better. Tips Make eye contact and focus on guests when they ask questions. When seating guests who have been waiting, thank them for their patience. You might want to do a quick coffee or water run if customers have a long wait and are starting to become unhappy. Hostessing is a craft. Learn and appreciate that, because if you know how to make people feel like you genuinely care for them, you can instantly become a restaurant's biggest asset in no time. People seem to think they're entitled to the best possible seat and server in the restaurant. While this is numerically impossible, be objective, remember. You're the first impression of the restaurant. Don't let any frustration that you may feel show, and make sure to be polite and let them know that you value their presence. Warnings If you're having a bad day, don't let that reflect in your service. Leave all emotions and your ego at home. Remember to look and act polished, friendly and calm. Do not be bored loud, vulgar, snobby or bossy. It is your job to make sure that the restaurant runs smoothly and that all of the guests and servers are happy. How can you accomplish this? By bringing your level of professionalism up to its highest standards. Do not gossip with co-workers about other co-workers or guests. You are a neutral ambassador. When your guests leave, Thank them sincerely, and genuinely tell them that you would like to see them return. Do not flirt. Do not text. Do not swear. Do not chew gum. Do not groom or apply makeup in front of guests. Do not let grudges influence your seating. Don't give a server you hate the unwanted regulars who are a pain in the apron and don't tip, or purposely overwhelm a waitress, or Leave someone else without any tables. Be aware of what is going on in the kitchen, in each of your server's stations, and at the bar. As the shift progresses be aware how your actions impact the servers, bar and kitchen. Do not accept tips or flirting from servers in exchange for more tables. Things you'll need A hostess station pen highlighter Dry erase marker small notebook. 